What's up, Bay Area? Welcome to Talk Back, representing your issues, your voices, your words, and your concerns, looking at local art and politics in your neighborhood. And here's your hosts, Anthony and Michelle. What you got for me? What you got for me, huh? You know, I pop it on You got a little bit of this? You got a little bit of that? <laughs> hey, hey, we acting stupid, we dancing, because we got a special show for you today, but I want to welcome you all to Talk Back. That's right, thanks for being here with us on Talk Back. I was hoping you would buy some sick with chocolate on me. Hey, you know, I'm going to save some of these moves for later on. She's so excited. Why are you so dang excited? Why don't you tell her? I want to go out. I'm dying to go out. Hey, that's <laughs> right. To go out. This episode, we're going to step out a little bit, hit some of the night spots in the city, in the East Bay. That's right, we're in the studio a lot, and we love the studio just as much as we love you guys. And That's right. Getting all your emails, we've had a really nice time being able to read all of the emails and the feedback that we've gotten. That's right, talkbackcentral.com. Give us some more, give us some feedback, let us know how we're doing. If we miss a night spot tonight, hit us, let us know what we missed. We might or, hit it. Or you may yeah. see us out on the night spot hey, tonight. Holla like, at us if you see us, familiar. you know. That's right, especially if you see Anthony, make sure you give him a little wow. Oh, no, nah. anyway, sure. hey, hold on. <laughs> You're going to see Michelle, she's going to be the one on the bar like this. <laughs> All right, okay, okay so. Somebody knows me a little too well. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So, hey, if you see us, get at us. I got to change and get real nice and fresh and clean on them, right? Shoot, baby, I look good. You looking good, right. baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, it's fine. We'll have a lot of fun, though. But, yeah, you should change. Look a little, little raggedy, little tired. Anyways, <laughs> get at us. See you soon, you guys. All right. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, what up, Bay Area? Welcome to Talk Back. We're here at the spot, Space 550. DJ Mind Motion and DJ Rick Lee. That's right, from Cameo. What are you here for, baby? I know what you're here for. Man, they got a little lingerie party going on. Yeah. A little runway show. You guys might be able to see something if it's rated PG, but, you know, we got to wait for that. I saw some little mommies and damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, they looking real good. They looking real good. So we going to dance a little bit, maybe drink a little bit, and, you know, just kick it. We'll catch up, we'll catch up with y'all in a minute. Okay, everybody, if you don't know who I'm standing next to, you listen to him every day. It's DJ Mind Motion off KML. Hey, man, welcome, welcome, welcome. Right on, man. You know how we do it. Yeah. It's all good. How you doing, little baby? How you getting all right. going tonight? Of course, you know, we always get it going. You got me going yeah. already, Bobby. Let me tell you. <laughs> Hey man, I want to know. I want to know what what songs, what cuts do you throw on that you know is gonna make everybody shake their ass? Right about now, anything by Fifty. Yeah. Uh, we got my man Frontline Local Break. Right Kick up. the sneak. Yeah, big record yeah. right now. You know? I'm in the building and I'm feeling like, yeah, hell yeah. That's the that's the big record right now. You know, okay. you know a lot of stuff. You know, when I get on the turntables, man, you know I just do. I go with the crowd feel. Right on. Now you got some shit coming up, man. You got a you got your uh, website coming up. What's up? Yeah, we got the website. We can check me out where I'm at all, every day, every week. It's uh, www.mymotionrocktheparty.com, and we're doing parties every day of the week. I'm out all days and mixing the mornings every day. You know how we do. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being with us, little baby. It's so all good, good to see you. <laughs> you know how we hey, do, man. DJ Mind Motion. Check him out. Oh, I see you know what's happening. Me and my mom is watching. I hear your friends say I'm not trustworthy. All right, check this out. I'm here with Lloyd Lewis with Personal Touch. He's responsible for the party tonight. Hey, Lloyd, man, thank you for joining us tonight. Tell us about Personal Touch, how I got started. You know, what, what's the deal? All right, Anthony. Personal Touch started back in 1999. I had been doing parties and events in San Francisco prior to that. We, uh, we noticed there was a lack, uh, there was a void in the nightlife in, in San Francisco, especially. Parties out here were either real ghetto or there was, there was lacking a vibe. Okay. So we, we called our company Personal Touch because that's how we wanted to do our business, real personal. I'm with it. You know what I mean? All right, all right, all right. Give, them, give them your website, man. Let them know where they can catch up with a Personal Touch party. We keep the parties rocking every week. Here in the Bay Area, San Francisco to Oakland to San Jose. Okay. Make sure you log on personaltouchsf.com. Okay, y'all. You heard it. Personaltouchsf.com. We're going to dance a little more, kick it a little more. All right, we get at you. I'm here with 
with Rick Lee, the Dragon. You listen to him every day, just like my man My Motion on KMEL. Man, Rick, I want to thank you for joining us today with Talk Back. Shit, man, tell them about what you're doing. What's, what's cracking with Rick Lee right now? What's going down? For those of you that don't know me, go out and check out my website, www.sbcdjs.com. I'm doing a lot of mixtapes and trying to bring up this Bay Area and, uh, you know, be seen and heard. Now, every club in the Bay, what is it, when you play some shit, what is it that makes them really get down? Man, right now the hottest thing is that Bay Area sound. There you go, Bay Love, Mac Dre, rest in peace. Man, Rick Lee the Dragon, you heard it here with Talk Back. We'll get at you. Did you know there was a lingerie show tonight? Did you know that there was a lingerie show tonight? Did you know there was a lingerie show tonight? Okay, you checking out the lingerie show. It's packed in here. Hey, look at this right here. Look at this outfit right here. about a year ago. It caters to like sexy, comfortable, like everyday lingerie. And what's your hope from tonight? Um, I just hope that I create awareness about the store and hopefully um, get more customers. Do you see, do you do this often? This is our second one. We did one about a month ago, so this is our second one. How's the show coming? We have about 10 girls and each one has about three outfits, so I think it's gonna be a good show. Do you cater to a lot of different sizes of women? What's your, are you hoping that women feel really empowered by the lingerie? Or? Yeah, definitely. We want we want to create, um, like, I carry a lot, lot of different lines, a lot of unique um, lines that you can't find at department stores, basically, and we carry, we cater to a lot of sizes. You know, you don't have to be super skinny. You can have curves, you can, and you can rock your curves and feel confident. Right on. And what's the name of your store? Iris, and it's located on, on at Hay Street. And do you have a website? Yeah, it's irisonhate.com. So check her out. Okay, for all my kitties out there, you might want to close your eyes. It's getting real hot in here. You're seeing it right now. Check that out. Okay, Michelle's having a hard time not smacking the asses on stage right now. I'm being good. Baby, I'm being good. Your boy Stressmatic Federation Gang effing with my homeboys on Talk Back. You already okay. know. We're not advocating drinking for the youngsters, yes, but if you're over 21, go good ahead and time. cheers. Good time. Yeah. 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 Talk back. Hey, Bay Area. So, as part of our local hotspot segment, we decided to switch it up a little bit because it ain't all about the bars and the drinking and the booze and the ladies, although that is fun. Right. But sometimes it's also about a little bit of cultural, cultural diversity, and that's what we're doing at the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. That's right. Hey, like my co-host just said, it's not all about shaking your booty in the club, okay? <laughs> you can find some other alternatives to going out, get some culture in your life, learn something, gain some knowledge. I mean, just alone, we got pamphlets galore. You can come see ba ballets, Jewish film festivals, I mean, just about anything. It's it's free for students, what, Tuesday nights? Yeah, actually, and if you don't know where we're at, we're actually at third admission right now. So yeah, if you're a student, every Thursday, galleries are free. And for everybody, first Tuesday of the month, also galleries are free. Just go to ybca.org and check it all out. And if you, if you don't want to come on those nights, it's only $6. I mean, that's less than a movie right now. And you can come and get some great stuff, right? So... Yeah, and some of the stuff, like uh, Anthony mentioned, if you want some cool foreign flicks, I know the International Latino Film Festival has monthly screenings here. I know they got great uh, visual, performing arts, dance, all kinds of stuff. And tonight, we're here for the Hip Hop Theater Festival, right? It's running for two weeks, and I mean, I'm just expecting to see something hot, something, you know, something that's going to give me a little bit of knowledge. Yeah, I mean, here at Talk Back, we're big fans of hip-hop, so we were like, what? Hip-hop? We're here. So <laughs> you should definitely check it out because we are excited. We got a sneak peek of some of the performers and uh, definitely an alternative to the huge. That's right. So check up with us later. You'll see some of the performance. We'll have some interviews with some of the performers, and it's that's about it. It's time for the reclaiming of hip-hop. Yes, it's riling me to see such sexism in hip-hop industry. A sick... Society turns women's bodies into, ew, problems to be solved. But anorexia, 
Ain't sexy. Welcome back to Talk Back. We're backstage and I'm here with Aya de Leon. Aya de Leon. I love how she said that. Now, you, she just did something called Set Style and it was tight. She transformed from um, gangster rap image and, and the person that's really inside. Tell us a little bit about Set Style. Well, Set Style is one of the characters from a hip hop theater show that I have called Thieves in the Temple, The Reclaiming of Hip Hop. And what I was trying to do with Set Style was um, to kind of get behind the mask of the gangster rapper because, you know, you have all of these men who are, you know, rap artists or, you know, are connected somehow to like rap culture who are, you know, posturing like they're so hard, like, you know, they eat, you know, hardware for breakfast right, and they're chewing metal. on metal, you know, that's, you know, that whole thing. And um, that's just not who men are. That's not who anybody is. No human being is that hard. This is a hip hop show. Not a porno flick. You misogynistic rappers, you can suck my dick. I was 12 years old when I sucked my first dick. I'll be shaking my ass, cause it's all I've got. Ooh, you like that, don't you, when I shake my ass? Wait a minute. Motherfucker, where are you going? I thought you loved me. You love me now? <laughs> shaking my ass. You love me now? <laughs> Do you love me now? Nigga, I thought you loved me. You, you said you loved me. My fucking you said you loved me. <laughs> I'm sure you're out there. You want to go out with your friends, or you have a guy friend who's like really close, and everyone's like, "Is he gay? Is he gay?" It was hilarious listening to you tonight because I think a lot of people can relate to that, and it was funny. It was just Another really funny. Another one with sensitive brothers. That's right. <laughs> well, and I think that, you know, because there's so much homophobia in our society that whenever men express sensitivity, like, that's what's thrown at them. Well, they're, they must be gay. First this all, is San Francisco. This, is, right. this happens sometimes. Right. Well, and the first thing is, of course, there's nothing wrong with being gay. Like, some folks are straight, some folks are gay. It's all good. But the second thing is, you know, because of the homophobia and because there's so much violence and so much violence associated it with um, you know so much gay bashing and so much just gender bashing of men whether they're straight or not if they show anything sensitive yo this is for every woman that's ever been called a bitch every girl that's ever been grabbed at a club every sister who's ever been treated like a hoe every daughter who's ever been raped every female who's ever been silenced this is how I keep it real real hair real nails real tits Real ass, real smart, real age, and I'm built to last, built to last, built to last. Cause it's the time for the reclaiming of hip hop. I just wanted to say thank you because I think it's a good way that you brought comedy into it. It's very inv yes. invitational and I think a lot of people would enjoy it. And I just got to put on the record, I cried at Lion King like four times. Yeah, my sensitive brother. <laughs> right on. Okay, hey, this is Talk Back. Thank you, Aya de Leon. Did you. I say it right? Yes, you did. Okay, great performance tonight. Thank we'll be right back. Sharing what you think of the show so far, and particularly what you think about the like diversity around the racialized issues that are coming up and all the different perspectives. I think the show so far is phenomenal. And what I love about the Hip Hop Theater Fest is the way it actually creates a space for that dialogue around the diversity of hip-hop, the way it it engages different communities and different histories in the development of hip-hop, the way it actually talks about hip-hop and race and hip-hop and gender and gives us a chance to see what the... I mean, the piece we just saw was phenomenal with Dan Wolfe and Tommy Shepard, mm -hmm. where they took the history of Jewish immigration and Jews in Nazi Germany and brought a hip-hop aesthetic to it and integrated the history of Jewish migration into the history of hip-hop. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what the Theatre Fest is doing that's pretty amazing and really pushing the boundaries of how we perceive hip-hop mm -hmm. and the, the mainstream perceptions of hip-hop. Thank you. I steal my picture back, restore my past. Pass. I fed a culture, who fed us gas. Yes. And now we're back to get clean from future scenes, dreams. Let me turn my voice into my foot. We just started to figure out how I fit in to it, you know, because, you know, being a black man in America, I'm kind of stateless too, mm -hmm. uh, certain respects. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we just started trying to find the comparisons and the parallels to that. And, you know, that's what happened. What's been the feedback that you've gotten so far? Um, great. I mean, people, people, at first they didn't understand it. 
but now I think we've cleaned it up and made some adjustments to it, and now I think a lot of people understand it. We're here with Talk Back, and I'm here with Vanessa Hidry, another performer at the Hip Hop Theater Festival. Vanessa, tell us a little bit about your performance tonight. Um, it was an excerpt of my one woman show called Culture Bandit, which uh, basically chronicles my life growing up being a Jewish girl in an urban environment, growing up in the hip hop scene in the 80s. I meet a guy in a bar that's cute. He wears L.L. Bean duck boots and guards my bar stool when I have to go pee. He asked me out to dinner for the following Tuesday. I decline. Tuesday is Yom Kippur. I will be fasting. You're Jewish? Wow. You don't look Jewish. You don't act Jewish. And he says it in this tone that sounds like he's complimenting me. And I say, and I say nothing. I say nothing when which combined with a flirty smile translates to thank you. I say nothing because I got a contact high of someone's anti-Semitic crack pipe. I say nothing because somewhere along my life's grass, I've been swayed to believe that being Jewish is not too cool, not too sexy. So what would you say for some of our local viewers out there that think hip hop is maybe associated to a certain segment of youth. What would you say about that as far like as- a certain racial segment? Yeah. Um, I would just say that, I mean, especially in New York, I grew up in a really mixed neighborhood. So, um, you know, when hip hop was going on with Sugar Hill Gang and all the groups were coming out that everyone in my class was listening to it and there was a very mixed scene and there were just, I think it took a while for other voices to come out and talk about their experience. I don't look Jewish. Tell me I don't act Jewish, because I'm thinking, I'm saying, what does Jewish look like to you? Should I fiddle on a fucking roof for you? <laughs> Should I hum a Hebrew mamita, long lost daughter of Abraham and Sarah, the sexy oy vain, chutzpah having, non cheaping, non conspiracizing, always questioning, hip hop listening, Torah scroll reading, all people loving, pride filled Jewish girl. Bigging up all people who are a little miffed because someone tells you you don't look like or act like your people. Impossible, because you are your people. You just tell them they don't look, period. Tell the people out there where they can find you. Um, you got a website, I something a like website. that? website, it is um, hebrewmamita.com. So Hebrew, H-E-B-R-E-W-M-A-M-I-T-A.com. Stuff and I've got some of my spoken word up there and stuff like that, so people can read what I'm doing. Hey, thank you so much. You were great tonight. You were great tonight. So I'm here with Kristen. We're at the Hip Hop Theater show. What do you think of the show so far? No, it's really great. It's awesome. It's just showing a different like complexity of hip hop and what it can bring to the stage as far as culture. Um, so I'm loving the show. I'm really feeling it. And I've seen some of the pieces before, so it's nice to see it again. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. What's, what's your favorite piece so far? It has to be Anya de Leon because she's just so great. She does so many different things and she can play so many different characters. I just, I always enjoy her shows. I've seen her at La Pina and different places before. So I'm um, in the Black Box Theater when it was open. So she's great. She's an awesome person, period. So. Sam, the biggest thing for me is when this brother turned into hip hop, he did a whole transformation in front of all of us. Now, when you did the transformation, hip hop was in a, in, a, in a weird state, old, uh, you know, look bruised and battered. Tell us about that. Basically, so it's a, it's a physical distortion of how I see hip hop right now. Like the culture right now is somewhat withering away. So it's my comment on that. And hopefully through doing that, I'm also showing how it is now, but also putting life back into it. You know what I'm saying? Twisted, distorted, lacerated them to the point where they are unrecognizable. <laughs> And to the point where the vast majority of the world thinks that I, hip hop, am nothing but a big mouth who blows hot, polluted air across continents and overseas. I am more than rhymed syllables. I am a full body, a total organism with blood, bones, ether, soul, 
and I am thoroughly disgusted by the slanderous misrepresentation. This is our nightlife segment. Now tell us, is this important for youth to find other alternatives besides just hitting the club, shaking their ass? They can go somewhere and get some culture and some knowledge. For sure, man, because hip hop is so deep, man. It's, it's like you can do it through music, you can do it through dance, you can do it through theater. So this is just another avenue that hip hop is now expressing itself through. You know what I'm saying? And this is like a movement that like a lot of people don't necessarily know about, but hip hop theater is something that is just really spreading around the world right now. So it's just important for people to know that there are different ways to express hip hop other than just rhyming. I am feeling oppressed. I am feeling exploited and I am feeling used. There are many people out there who have a very limited, closed-minded impression of who I am. Oh, hip-hop, he's so violent. Hip-hop, he hates women. Hip-hop, he's too materialistic. Man, thank you. You're welcome. Great interview, great performance. Yeah, thanks. All right, All right. talk back. Thanks. together it's so nice to see them we're having a great time we're here at lucky lounge down right. on grand avenue i think it's 3326 grand avenue that's right and uh, we just got back from east bay arts alliance some, watching uh, the kids poetry saw some spoken word it was really nice it's good to see some positive kids but now it's grown folks business it's still early we got a few drinks down here some lemon drops Anthony's always trying to sell you guys on how we're all grown up. Hey. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I think people enjoy coming to the Lucky Lounge because it's just it's a really relaxed, easy place to go. There's none of the, the attitude that you find other places. Check this out. I'm with Ren, the vinyl archaeologist. He's, he's t hitting the tracks here at the Lucky Lounge. Man, tell us about the Lucky Lounge. I mean, tell us a little bit about it. The Lucky Lounge is a, a really cool spot, especially on a Thursday night. We got Massive Selector hosting the event every Thursday. They spin a wide range of house, hip hop. Well, actually, hip hop they're trying to like stay away from, but you know, the the soul, the house, the all the other types of music that makes you like to lounge out on a Thursday night. Man, he was playing a little bit of my favorite cameo earlier. So, so the yeah, you know, he was playing some of your stuff too. Uh, I'm sorry, I heard Jamaica funk, and I was like, uh, uh. But I gotta say though, is is it really a lucky a lucky place? I mean, on a, on the scale of one to ten, how lucky is this place? Uh, I can't call it. I can't call the lucky lounge. You have to ask the patrons. You yeah, know. Ask the patrons. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm back here. I'm back here behind the turntables. I feel lucky to be here. Okay. Just to bless y'all with like some good music. Now, everybody seems to be lounging. I mean, it is the Lucky Lounge, but do people get up and start moving? In? I mean, do they start shaking a little bit? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. You know, I, I catch their crew a little bit, you know, and they, we make a little eye contact and give the nod <laughs> of appreciation. You know, Check it out. For all you guys inhibited about dancing in public, Ren, the vinyl archaeologist, is going to break that habit real soon. That's right. No doubt. You know, no that's doubt. how we represent. One thirty-five, Twelfth Street in Oakland, some town business, and you end up at the Oasis. Some reggae music is sprinkling. It don't even matter because we at the Oasis. It's cracking in here, man. Follow me. All right, I know you guys can all relate to this moment in the evening where you're thinking to yourself, damn, I'm really hungry. What is open right now? And as you can see, we hooked it up. We got the whole spread. We got chicken. We got mac and cheese. We got some greens right at the Chicken and Waffles here in Jack London Square. Because we had to hook up. Our producer B hooked it up. It's a little bit after hours, but they hooked us up with a with a whole thing right here. I got my We even got my, the hot sauce. My hot sauce. 
Gotta have a Chris style. <laughs> and, uh, you know, said I'm ready to eat. <laughs> we're we're going to get back to our to our grub over here, babies. But we had a really fun time tonight, and I hope you have fun checking us out. That's right. Talk back. <laughs>